Yeah, what up, brothers, man? How y'all doing, man? Yo, um... Yeah, this is, um... Scrap Stay Woke, man. Y'all brothers gotta wake up, man. For real, y'all gotta wake up, man. So, basically, what's going on, man? With these fucking... These fucking girls, man, and they fucking... Holidry, man. They hold them, man. A lot of guys, y'all gotta basically, like I said, y'all gotta, y'all gotta wake up, man, to how these women are, man. Like the real them, man. Like a lot of y'all be surprised about, you understand? Like women being freaky and all this extra stuff. But um, you gotta realize this is that. Now I mean, women, women, like. They sexual creatures, man. That's what you got to understand and realize, man. You understand? They want it more than you. They front. They perpetrate. You understand? But they want it 10 times more than you. You understand? And that's the sad part. Like, you understand? And then the things that they make you go through. You understand? Take them out. You got to do all this and all that just to get... You understand? To get the vag or... And and then you got to realize this. You chasing something that's a shithole. You understand? You chasing something that's a shithole. You understand? At the end of the day, a lot of women, you understand? I mean, shout out to um TMT, man. Thinking man Templar, man. Like I learned he got some good, he got some good context. Y'all need that like, If y'all don't know about him, Thinking Man Templar, that's another red pill brother, man. You know what I'm Also um Black Ram 313, man. Shout out to Black Ram. But um this is for the people like you understand who basically you understand this is for my young brothers this is before y'all get caught up and have kids man you understand because what you gotta understand is that women when it comes to women equality with women far as like women's rights or women sticking together a female female's gonna stick together before they when it comes to a guy and what I mean is that your mother or your aunt or your sister They're not going to tell you how women really are They ain't going to do that shit They ain't going to sit down and tell you how women really are Far as Like Women basically How they hurt you You understand how women Women that grew up in dysfunctional families How they don't know how to love a man You understand So they're not gonna teach you about when you how women are, how they'll fuck you and leave you. They're not gonna show, they're not gonna tell you all this, man. Because they wanna basically keep the keep it going. They wanna keep the spell going. You understand? And me knowing what I know now, I got a lot of animosity and resentment towards like the females that raised me, man, because they didn't show me this. You understand? 90% of the time I got hurt is from a woman. Either they embarrassed me, you understand? Or either they broke over me or they broke my heart. Like you understand? Know and it's not about that. It's just basically far as basically learning. You understand? Or being basically being aware. You understand? If, if, if your mother teach you about females on it hurt you, you won't be hurt because, you know, it's like going in the haunted house twice. You're not going to be, you're going to be more, you're not going to be scared as the first time as the second time. You understand? So, it's just, it's just messed up, man. And, and the thing about it, too, is that most of us, you understand? Black men, we grew up in a single parent home where the father's not there. So the father's not teaching us how to be a man. The father's not teaching us basically for little signs to watch out for when you're dealing with women. They don't teach us that shit, man. So what happens? You get young, get a girlfriend, you fall deeply in love. And what happens? She disappoints you, she breaks your heart. Sad, man. It's sad. It's sad, man. It's sad, man. So, to my brothers, man, my young brothers, man, be careful, man, on who you lay up with for even having a kid because you don't know a girl till you have a kid with her, man. And once you have kids, man, it's like your life is over, man. It's not about you no more. You got to provide for these kids. You got to make sure these kids is good. You got to be there when you have kids, man. You understand? And... Most of us get caught up, you understand, when you have kids with whores, you understand, and hoggles because 
it basically trickles down. They might guarantee you it trickles down. Not until time, you understand, they mother had, you understand, or when they grew up, they had brothers and sisters who had different fathers. So that showed you right there. You understand? But nobody want to admit, you understand, the whoredom of their mother or the holodry of their mother. Nobody want to talk about that. You want to, you understand? So basically, it's been passed down from generation to generation. But shout out to Thinking Man Templar on Black, Black Ram because even on AMS, these people basically, they showing, you know what I'm saying, our brothers, the ones who didn't get caught up, you know what I'm saying, about how to live life, man, without the female. You know what I'm saying? Nobody told us that our fathers wasn't around. Because if we, if our fathers wasn't around, most of the time when you see a man and a female living in the household, the mother's cursing out the father. You understand? What's that? It's, it's a show, um, Everybody Hates Chris, with um, Terry Crews. I believe that's his name. The guy from Friday, the bullhead, big diesel dude. He was swole. When you look at that show, you understand? It's basically about a black man and he's being demasculated, meaning as far as that when you look at Pam, you understand I forgot her name, her real name, something Arnell. You understand? She basically um is Terry Crew's wife inside of Everybody Hates Chris. You understand? And um it's just sad, it's sad, it's sad. And we don't look at these things because we blind. You understand? But through the whole through the whole series and through the whole movie, or through the whole, excuse me, through the whole sitcom, she's cursing them out, telling them what to do and what not to do, yelling at them. So, we, we've been showed that young. When I was young, and I went to my friend's house who did have their father or stepfathers, their mother was cursing them out. Oh, why are your boots here? Why do you left dishes in the sink? You understand? So, it's just, it's just sad, man. You understand? The world we in is in a matriotic world, man. It basically, they wanted to make it seem like it's ran by women. Also in the household. You know what I'm saying? Or to get food stamps in Section 8. The man can't be in the household. For what? Why? Why is that? The black man can't be in the household. But everybody, every race you look at it and and you around or you see, the man is the, the backbone of the family. But in the black community, the, 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 the women is the, the backbone of the family. That's how they make it seem. Because these men don't fucking stand up for themselves. These men don't grab their balls. You understand? And you gotta understand, they, they, the government is locking up, locking up our brothers, man. So now you got single mothers. You understand? And the thing about it is that when they go to jail, most of the time, the the the, the, the fucking the the female, she know what the motherfucker doing. And then she shit on them. Oh, this motherfucker was selling drugs. This motherfucker was doing this and that. But you knew about it. But when you were spending the money, everything was good. Everything was lavish. So now I go to jail, I'm a stupid motherfucker. But you was spending the money up too. You was going to get your head done. You was going to get your nails done. This shit is sad, man. It's sad. It's sad, man. So all my brothers, you understand? Think with your head. The one above your shoulders, not the one below your waist. Use your brain, man. Watch you have kids with, man. Because when you have a kid with a girl, man, and you don't know her, your life is over, man. Your life is done. You're done. Stick a fork and you're done. So listen to this red pill content, man, and learn, man. Learn from it, man. Because it's going to help you and it's going to save your life. It's going to save you money, man. I wish I knew this 10 years ago. I wouldn't be in a position I'm in now. I wish I knew this 10 years ago, man. So to all my brothers, man, wake up. Shout out to the Thinking Man Templar. Shout out to AMS. Shout out to Black Ram, man. Y'all already know, man. Scrap woke man. Like, subscribe to my page. You understand? Share the, share the love. You understand? Comment. And like I said, I'm gonna give y'all more red pill content, man. And like I said, be around like like-minded brothers that want to help you, uplift you, that's gonna teach you and tell you the truth. Because a lot of people, you gonna go. A lot of people gonna go against you because they don't want to hear the truth. All right, my brothers, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Holla back, man.